Life starts outside your comfort zone. That's what a motivational quote inside a Christmas cracker told us last year. So maybe it is time that we start our life by escaping it. This is day two of walking 250 kilometers with absolutely zero preparation. And here's a quick spoiler alert. We are not inside our comfort zone. You're gonna walk today, just like mommy and daddy. Um, but I guess this is a new video. What's up, up my boys? Jon, <laughs> I just spoke with one of my friends from Denmark and she said, don't worry guys, the first seven days are the hardest. <laughs> <laughs> we have 35 kilometers to walk. However, our wonderful host Maria insisted that she drop us off near the ocean. It had nothing to do with the rain absolutely pouring down. We promise. And that's it for me. Thank you so much. Please take care. Really appreciate it. Ciao! What a lovely person. Now we have 10 kilometers from here and then another 17. Oh god, that sounds terrifying. You stepped in a poop? In a fucking human poop! <laughs> <laughs> in addition to a tiny bit of walking, we have five challenges we need to complete. Find coffee in the middle of nowhere. Buy food that is not poisonous. Have a conversation with a local in Portuguese. Catch a ferry to Troia. And finally, befriend a total stranger. How amazing is this? We walk here completely alone, no cars. We're by the fifth most beautiful bay in the world, rated. During summer, this is an incredible place. Happy little family. We're the three best friends as anyone can have. Oh. Oh, uh. Here, you have the longest beach stretch in the world. And we are going around here, Comporta. I gotta say, today's is a lot more peaceful and calm than yesterday. We are kind of stuck between a rock and a hot place. <laughs> it's not even raining. Lord, it's a miracle. I want my coffee. You're not saying much this morning. Am I not saying a lot? No. I guess not. But I had kind of a minor breakdown last evening. We didn't really look into what the roads look like. What are the conditions of the roads? The real problem starts after Comporta, like on and off all the way down to, to Algarve, where you have like these, these roads here, but there are no shoulders. We don't know what we're gonna do because we don't want to risk our lives to doing- For Other people's lives. Yeah, so. Because other people could also die. Mm. It's the most awkward fruit to eat for a man, isn't it? If you're insecure, you really underestimate just how slow you walk on your feet. It's like 10 minutes in a car is like an hour and a half on your feet. Yeah. It's crazy. Found a coffee place. <laughs> Two euros and 80 cents. It's a pretty good deal. Garuto. This a garuto is basically an espresso, a, a large espresso with a dash of milk. Called a coffee macchiato. Is that what they call it? Yeah. A macchiato. It's like energized. Guys, welcome to Stubal. This is a fisherman town and some say uh, you find the best seafood uh, in Setubal. I mean, this is where you go if you want to eat seafood. Yeah. And we're vegan. I thought this is the boat we're going with, but then I realized that one is huge. <laughs> so we have 300 meters from here. I think it's this boat, no? The green one? Couldn't we take that boat? Oh no! That's a catamaran. It left literally two minutes ago. For the... How often does it go? Every hour. Okay, let's go to the other one. So Amelia, she's at the gas station to buy something we can eat because we are going with the boat from here and then we are flying up to here as opposed to this was the one we thought we were taking. And this is where you find food and restaurants. Hola amigo, ¿todo bien? Hola, buen día. Um, te, te, tenía un niño um, enamorado. Sí. Y me dice está... Usted ya habla buen portugués. Obrigado, obrigado. Usted ya habla buen portugués. Yo, yo, yo... Usted está atenta. This is what we got to work with. There's literally no fresh food in here. You can get... A Americana. This is a disaster. I feel like this is Jon and me in a nutshell, honestly. Always in a rush. And then we end up buying 25 euros of crap food and drinks 
because we couldn't go to a supermarket. Caminamos in Algarve. So, in Algarve? Si. Yet yet. Uh, de, de Dinamarca. 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 Sí. Dinamarca. Dinamarca es un buen país. Sí. No para vivir. No para vivir. Y caro. No tiene naturaleza linda. No, no tiene naturaleza. Dinamarca. Na. Es como... Pero Dinamarca es un país bueno. Para mí no. Para Portugal. Mí. Portugal es mejor. Vivimos aquí. Fala, en Madeira. Vivo en Madeira. Vivo en Madeira el año pasado. Obrigado, amigo. Obrigado. Obrigado. Tengo... 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 Can I have well, some that's not a lie, though. But this is what Lara usually gets in the morning at home, and she knows it. That's our boat. There really is something about going on a ferry, taking it to somewhere brand new and exciting. And well, we were not welcome here, <laughs> but we are crime writers. Were you inspired by the boat? Amazing. Exactly. I saw the boat, and as a former addict of Coca-Cola. Former or recovering? Recovering addict. Got you a thing as well, Yon. Your junk. I, I generally I think Monster is the most repulsive energy drink because there's so sugary or full of aspartame. This is none of it, but sucralose, which is also uh, going to kill you uh, eventually. But this is like iced tea, and it tastes delicious. And when we're walking this much, it's okay. So that's where we came from today. I will say I'm already pretty proud of us because this is, this is what we're doing is just ridiculous. We've got cinnamon apple crackers. It has 41% fruit. Your this, favorite? This used to be my favorite thing of all time. This used to be our diet. When we lived in Australia, this would be our breakfast. Actually, this. Along with? This. Bounty. And then I got this for Lada. I feel like this is where the real journey starts. From now on, it's gonna get wild. It's just going to be more scary um, in terms of the roads and that's really something we have no solution to. There is a bus from Comporta to Sinas that I'm inclined to consider, but then you guys would also be like, oh, you're not really walking, are you? Let's just see how the condition is first. Yeah. 25 minutes later and we had arrived at the Maldives. Sorry, Troya. And that was another challenge completed. I just got off the phone with uh, one of our friends and she they're actually coming to Comporta today. She is on the boat now. So they will maybe pass us if we walk now. Most likely. And then she was like, can I just pick you up and take you somewhere? And I was like, no, you can't unless we hitchhike because that's our only wild card on this trip is if someone yeah. wants to pick us up, we are allowed to drive. We actually only have 13 kilometers from here because this boat took us four kilometers closer than the other one. That's amazing. And it also, she just reminded me how crazy we are. She was like laughing her ass off. She almost hung up because it was too funny for her. <laughs> I'm so fucking Ooh. energized right now. Me too. I think, it's, I think it's a red one though. Oh yeah. <laughs> Complete, definitely. That's why. <laughs> oh my god, I hope this lasts. Imagine people are going 140 kilometers here and we, we have to walk here. That's scary. And frankly, not sustainable. God, I love nature. I feel at home here, actually. Walking here makes me feel at home. So if we were not on Madeira, I think Comporta would be a place. I feel so... To live? Yeah, I feel it's so nice here. On our Patreon, we actually just made a video about the best places to live in Portugal, according to us. And we think that one of the most sexy areas and underrated areas are Melides Grandola. That area is just pristine nature, so beautiful. I mean, you can't really get more into the sexiness of nature. Amelia, be careful, you're walking too fast. This right here is exactly the nightmare. Luckily, we don't have a lot of traffic now, but you know, once we get south of uh, Pomporta, there will be traffic and they will be much driving much faster than this, so 
I, I hope you guys will, will have respect for our decision to somehow circum, circum, circumcise. No. Cir, no. Circumcision. Circumvent. Circumvent. Here in Comporta, they are building a lot, and this is actually the most expensive area in all of Portugal. Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, George Clooney, all these people, they, they buy land here, they have luxury villas. Just a piece of land here. <laughs> it's like 3 million euros. Here you can see how they're building like crazy. Not you when you're hungry. Mm. Oh, ah, eight point four kilometers. Left. We're not. I feel so motivated today because we're staying at a nice hotel. We're going to a nice restaurant, and we're gonna be able to get a nice warm shower, a big bed to sleep in, lots of space. I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's so synthetic. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys? I love it. Good. good I got to, to film you also. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tag us no, on Instagram. What? Didn't you ask us to save you? <laughs> no, no, no. Just no. To say hi. In case you need saving, just call me. <laughs> if, if one of you passes out in the street, call me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna book right next to your hotel because I know you're gonna be okay. in the city. Uh, in the city. Yeah. Yeah. In and the also, point. Lara, she has to uh, come, so Possible. if they okay, allow. Of course. We can just say she's uh, emotional support. Yes. <laughs> and she is. She <laughs> and is. we don't want a restaurant who doesn't want Lara. Yeah. So are you sure I'm gonna leave you here, guys? Yes. You're crazy. <laughs> That's why we love you. Uh, we love you too. See you in Comporta. Uh, See you! See you for dinner! Bye. Bye. Imagine if they get stuck. <laughs> oh my god! Bye. There's nothing like human interaction that can fuel you. And with less than 8 kilometers to go and stunning, stunning beauty, all around us we felt so happy so positive and so motivated to carry on and reach our destination think that the stroller is doing us a huge favor because people actually think that we have a baby. Yeah, yeah, the stroller is <laughs> quite literally maybe a lifesaver. <laughs> if my parents are watching, they will be like, what the fuck are you doing? Into the side. Life is for the adventure. One of the things that surprises me the most about this is that I'm not bored. I actually really enjoy this. I haven't had a moment where I was like, oh, this is going to be a long... Yes, I had had the moment where I was like, this is going to be a long trip. But that was in the bed last night. Yeah. But once we are on the road, I'm like, oh, I'm enjoying it. Uh, you know, the hardest thing about this is is the anticipation of all the challenges that are to come. It's every day, morning to evening, doing this. So when you look at 10 days of this, it just seems too much to handle. But when we're just in the present and we just take on the challenges that are here on our table, it's actually a lot more manageable. And look at this. This is the reward. Amelia, she um, just put down her Coke Zero in our bag without screwing and tightening the lid. <laughs> is that karma? Do you think it's karma for, for being naughty? Yeah. But mood is high, you know. My main concern right now is that if the sun continues to be like this, I will get burned. <laughs> We're literally flying like the wind. We have one kilometer left 
before we are at our destination. One of the things that I have realized, but I still don't fully believe, true pleasure comes from the unpleasurable. Doing things that are just not pleasurable gives pleasure, gives like the, the utmost pleasure. So that's all for me today from the philosophical corner. It's official. We're almost there. Hi. Hey, where are you going? I'm going back home. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Yes. It's 50 kilometers north. You're walking to the Algarve. Yeah, that's why we have the stroller for. Wait, <laughs> but you must have more stuff. No, that's, no, all, that's all we have. That's but there's all. no baby in it. No, no. baby. <laughs> no, 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 only, no. only her. You'll come across our place. We live in Santiago de Casem. Ah, really? Oh, really? Okay. There are no places. We're trying to find a place to stay and they're just completely booked out everything. In Santiago? Or? Yeah, no, just like Melises, you know, that whole area. Are you making a video? Of we're YouTubers. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that for a living. So uh, we're just documenting the whole series. Okay. I'll follow you. What's your name? Stay classy. There's a rice museum here, guys. I know that this trip was supposed to be different from all the other trips we do. We have to go in here and look at some stuff. Oh my god, how cute is that? And that will be 2,000 euros, Lada. Yes! No, not even. No? No, 626 euros. Two what minutes. Is it, a good it is cool. It's also 1,000 euros. Amelia, please. How idyllic is this place here? This is our first time in Comporta. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is beautiful. This, Hi, is. this is so nice. It looks so nice. Guys, you have no idea how much you appreciate this after 25 kilometers, 20, 26 kilometers. Good girl. You did so good today. You did so, so, so good. I mean, there's only water for one person. It's an eco hotel. There, that's three liters of water per room. <laughs> three liters? <laughs> Thank you. How was the shower? Amazing. Here's a little house tour. There's no mini bar. There's coffee in the morning. That's we, gonna be yeah, nice. Yeah, we have to go buy a little bit of milk for my garuto. Cute. This is bigger than yesterday. So good thinking. As we had kind of returned to our comfort zone by booking a nice hotel, we were still proud of ourselves as we looked all the way back to the mountains where we started this morning. As corny as these Christmas cracker quotes may sound, they usually do hold truth to them. Last night the discomfort of this challenge almost made us quit, but we pushed through and that's an incredibly rewarding feeling. It's like in Shawshank, you have to crawl through a lot of shit to eventually come out clean. However, we're still only in the beginning of that pipe. Wow. This is so cute and we can see the two storks. You it would be fun to bring a plate for our plate wall, I think. Oh my god. Look at this. I feel like that. Look what I'm wearing right now. And you, you know what? as a lobster as well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you right now the story of the lobster. And it points out that a lobster is a soft, mushy animal that lives inside of a rigid shell. That rigid shell does not expand. Well, how can the lobster grow? Well, as the lobster grows, that shell becomes very confining. Right? And the, kind of the lobster feels itself under pressure and uncomfortable. It goes under a rock formation to protect itself from predatory fish, casts off the shell and produces a new one. Well, eventually, that shell becomes very uncomfortable as it grows, right? Back under the rocks, good. And the lobster repeats this numerous times. The stimulus for the lobster to be able to grow is that it feels uncomfortable. Hi, oh my God. <laughs> we have dinner in two hours and 30 minutes, but we couldn't help this ourselves. for the pizza? To get a little <laughs> bit of <laughs> She spoiled it before I even had to do it. <laughs> We just booked a place in Miletus for tomorrow, so we are walking, no bus, and the way we're going to do it is that we will have Philippe and Carla, who has this tent we have booked, they will pick us up if we need to. So if this road is going to be too dangerous, you know, we're we just going to... Guys? How is it? <sighs> what? Mm. 
Slowly, slowly, you have time. I have one more. I burn myself. And then you bite into another bite, you will use your head, honey. Uh, Babe. Mm. With a delicious dinner with great friends, this day couldn't get any better. Guys, it's amazing to be part of the State Classic community. <laughs> uh, I want you to hit like, subscribe. <laughs> Bye. Bye. What's up, my boys? We didn't close the video yesterday. Because we're closing it now. This is how we end the video today, guys. 32 kilometers, guys. This is going to be fucking uh, crazy. But yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye. We're starting a To be honest, guys, we deserve this. <laughs>